You guys are looking at one happy man. <laughs> that is, I have the best find of the day for sure. Probably even the best find in months. <laughs> So, we're off on another small adventure. Good grief. <laughs> it has been raining. That's a fast car though. It has been raining on and off this morning and it's now afternoon. And there is a little window in between the rain, but uh, maybe we will get wet, but I don't care. I just want to dig a couple of holes and see what we can find. So without further ado, let the adventure begin. Come on! I just had a very, very big 80, 89 signal. And I think we have a very, very big buckle. Goodness me. <laughs> that is for sure a very big one. <laughs> Not even sure if I ever found a big buckle like that. Solid brass. No wonder it gave a very, very good signal. <laughs> Alright, I'm quite pleased with that. It's probably from horse tag. They used to work the land here, with horse and wagon of course. But, goodness me. Nice one. They actually just put cow manure on this field, so... <laughs> It doesn't smell all that good. But you know, finds are coming out of the ground and we will survive this. I'm onto my second coin, didn't show you the first one, it was just slick. And I did not really have any clue how old it could be. Um, but I got one now and the, there is for sure a weapon on it. And if I'm not mistaken, it's a, a Utrecht Duit. So there is at least a 1700s coin. Terrible shape, of course front is even worse but you know we'll take 1700 coins any day let's just hope we find a better looking one today so it's dry again it has been raining a little bit but you know not too bad and I'm on to a very interesting find I think it came from well at least pin pinpointer deep it's really good and really down in the hole there's all these pieces of pottery and you know brick and all that and I found this it appears to be a piece of lead but there is definitely some writing on it and as far as I can tell it's hand carved so let's pop it off don't think it's a seal maybe it is it's a seal for sure Well, let me clean it up a little bit. Maybe there's a date on it or something. On the back there's this, I don't know, looks like a weapon or something. But the most interesting thing to me is that it, it says N325 and then I think that's a half or something. Maybe I can figure some stuff out about it, maybe not, but very excited. <laughs> a good find for sure. Let's poke around a little bit more here. Well, finally a part of the mystery is solved. Well, this has nothing to do with the mystery, but I thought it was a very cool piece of pottery. But I find a lot of brass rings in the field. And this time, I mean, it's coming apart, but it was actually attached like this. So basically, my guess is it's a leather mount and there's a ring on it. So now I kind of understand a little bit better why there are so many brass rings in the field. Most of the time people say they're like curtain rings or something like that. but um, And they probably are once in a while. I'm very pleased to have found this because it solves kind of the mystery for me. <laughs> Awesome find. 
the more we get into the back of the field, the more interesting the finds are becoming, really. Oh. It's the end of a, of a tap that you would put in a barrel. It's broken off. It's an old crack, so probably not going to find the whole thing. We'll look for it. Just, you know, walk around here a little bit. But, yeah, I would figure 17, maybe even 1600. So that is good. Good ground. <laughs> Got another find. This is actually a very, well, it's anyway a datable coin. 1862 does not look too bad actually always nice to find a dateable coin haha <laughs> well as you can see the Sun decided to say hi to me again very very comfortable and I found another piece of a tap so a few more parts and I have the <laughs> I have it complete it's a shame that the top is off. Most of the time they're, you know, fancy design of a, a dolphin or something like that. Screaming signal, obviously. Maybe we will find the top, but as you can see, it's been broken off a long time ago. So it might not be here. But we'll keep looking for it. Well, our, our day is almost coming to an end. I'm going to detect my way back to the car, but... Um, I hope to find at least one more goodie. Um, I got one in my hand now, which is, well, anyway, an old find, very old button, I guess. It's kind of difficult today to really get onto a goodie, but, you know, we're not at the car yet, so <laughs> as long as you're digging, there is a chance you will find something. Probably we'll do the wrap-up back home, because it's almost dinner time. Don't want to keep my wife waiting, but I will keep her waiting if we find treasure, of course. <laughs> Let's see. You guys are looking at one happy man. <laughs> that is, I have the best find of the day for sure. Probably even the best find in months. <laughs> this is... Uh, 80 signal, but it was like very, very close to the surface almost double tapping and I didn't really think too much of it well I think my wife will have to wait a little while because we're on to a perfect find <laughs> let's walk to it <laughs> still can't believe it All right, here we go. Ha <laughs> ha! Now look at that. Can you see it? <laughs> I think I found the cop coin. I for sure did. <laughs> oh. A very nice chunk of silver. Cut on all the edges. <sighs> now that's why you go outside and dig holes. Crazy. What a good find. <laughs> Let's wash it off. Well, there we go. We'll hold it tight. And we won't let go. That would be a bummer. If it ends up in the canal, in it probably like sixteen or seventeen. Well, sixteen hundreds probably. Oh, that's gonna look great. <laughs> look at that beauty. <laughs> oh, I'll dry it off and I'll show you again. I don't think I will clean this coin. Maybe brush off a little bit of the dirt, but that's it. It's a cop coin, or a real. I don't know the date, but probably 1600s, maybe even 1500s, but I will have to investigate and see how old our coin is. Pirate treasure! <laughs> so what is the special thing about this coin? Well, first of all, 
In the Netherlands we were at war with Spain for 80 years, from 1568 up until 1648. So that is kind of special, 80 years of war. And being able to find a coin from that period that probably a Spanish soldier brought into our country is just fascinating to me. I always am on the lookout for relics and coins from that era. I actually found a few more. And this coin is also considered to be pirate treasure. If you would watch the movies of Pirates of the Caribbean, they talk about a piece of eight, and that is actually an eight real piece. So yeah, that's what makes this coin special to me. As you can imagine, I'm running late now, so I will do the wrap up back home. My wife is waiting with dinner now. <laughs> But, you know, I gave her a call and told her I found this awesome coin. So she didn't mind waiting for a while. But we'll have to walk out of here now. Thanks for watching. And obviously I hope you will join me again on the next adventure. Take care.